Hey guys, what's up? Topher Welsh here for VisualFXTuts.com, and I got another quick tip. Um, it actually doesn't really have to do with After Effects, more rendering. I was watching uh, Harry Frank's Adobe Media Encoder uh, tutorial on background rendering, um, and it kind of got me thinking of something I kind of get hung up on a lot. So, you know, sometimes you have a huge, huge, like, uh, project that you're doing, and you want to send proofs to someone but you don't know like what codec is going to produce what file size and within After Effects it actually doesn't show you but in Adobe Media Encoder it does so I'm just going to add this I had a client that I'm working for and what we'll do is we're just going to grab out of right here uh, let's just do this one and then it's a video on the Bachelorette. Open. So it's gonna come in and it's gonna ask you to pick pick your comp. I'm gonna pick my template that I've made. So um, what you're gonna do is you gotta go in here and it's gonna show you um, whatever this is. It's gonna show your estimated file size. So if I'm picking FLV F4V, it's gonna be, and then this preset which is the match source attributes high quality the 720p video I've made at 2 minutes and 14 seconds is going to come out to be 74 megabytes then if, say you want to down res that and you just want to send them a quick I don't know 20 meg maybe file so you can probably do like web medium oh there's 7 megs um, if you want to get a little bit higher quality do like 720p source half size you got 18 megabytes it's really nice because I mean you can go through all these different things that they want. Uh, an H.264. Go in here. You got all these presets. You got custom Apple iPod, uh, HDTV 1080p. So if you want to produce this in 1080p, that one's gonna be 515 megabytes. Um, if you want Vimeo HD 68. Uh, if you don't have any HD uploads left on your Vimeo, you can do a Vimeo SD. It'll be 36 megabytes. Um, if you're sending stuff to phones, YouTube, all these different things, Apple TV, 720p, 81 megs, um, even if you're going to do, uh, let's see, I haven't even tried this, but what about like PNG, oh, let's see, PNG uh, doesn't really work, because it would be a PNG sequence, so there's multiple files, so they can't really tell you, but let's see, MPEG2 Blu-ray, let's see what that says, match source attributes, this will be 238 megabytes, uh, do 1440 by 1080, 425. It's it's really really nice because you can actually just uh, you can actually see what your actual size is going to be, and then you know if you're going to be FTP in something as well, you know you're probably going to want to be keeping your uh, file size down to speed things up, and you know you can mess with things, and then oh yeah, and if you want to, you can go into like H.264. Let's just use the HD 720p. Then if you want to go in here and mess around with your video, you can actually make like make your that 15 frames a second. If you wanted to, uh, let's see, level 1. I don't know what that is. Yeah, 1.0. It's like you could do all these things to like kind of make your uh, make this better. You know, I, I really don't know what I'm screwing around with right here, but. You know, you just change all these different things to make your video a lesser size or, you know, decrease your audio. I don't, I don't know. Whatever you really want to do, it's up to you guys. But, you know, FLV, if you want to, you can go in here and then change your, resize the video. You can mess with uh, your bitrate settings. Uh, bitrate have a level low, so it can be a low bitrate, a medium bitrate or a high bit rate, things like that. So um, that's the quick tip today. So just, you know, check out the Adobe Media Encoder. I really haven't been using it too much until this last week. Oh, my thing just finished rendering. Um, but yeah, I haven't been using it very much until this last week when Harry put out that video and it really opened my eyes. So check out the, uh, the Adobe Media Encoder and let me know what you guys think in the comments and check back at visualeffectstuts.com for more news blog posts, roundups, inspiration, giveaways, contests, all that good crap. So, 
My name is Topher Welsh, and I will see you in the next video slash blog post. See ya.